Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Boys and girls, this pack is good. Ugin, Vivian Reed, a favorite of mine. Niv Mizzet. Whenever another creature dies, you can experience counter. If you're in your end step, choose a creature that can graveyard effect cards. card is less than equal to our counters returns to the battlefield. I think Marin of Clan Neltoth is just really strong. It's two colors. I think Niv Mizzet's sweet too. Obviously. Obviously, I think that card is sweet. There is a Gary in here as well. What's going to come back? I don't think any of the blue cards. Maybe Vivian Reader, Draga Tree Speaker. This is a pest pack is very good. I'm going to take the Marin of Clan, Clan Nell Toth. See where we end up with. Um, oh God, Tundra Water Grave. Overgrown Tomb is super, super nice. Let's take the Overgrown Tomb. There's a lot of sweet lands in this pack. Tundra Water Grave, Savannah, Overgrown Tomb. <clears throat> Might as well stick with the first card we take. Go with that Overgrown Tomb. It's basically a dual land. I do like Anissa. One of these will table for sure. Him to Torok actually is probably better than Nissa, right? Let's take a Him to Torok. Mind Shatter is just basically. Him to Torok plus, right? Hex Drinker's alright. I'm not like. I don't feel like I'm super impressed with Hex Drinker. I almost like never return better. Just dealing with Planeswalker. You just kind of. It's just kind of expensive. You know what I mean? Like. I want to take the Dever Return. Lana War Elf. Hmm. Are we Lana War Elfing here? Hmm. Plus, what opponent even plays with everything? Yeah, I agree with you. I want to take Lana War Elf here. You guys ever had your opponent cast in everything against you? I don't think so. Grave Titan? Yeah, now we're talking. Marsh Flats would be nice. Grave Titan's nicer. Alright, I'm liking the way this I'm liking the way this black green deck is looking so far. Civilization, I'll stay right here. Ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba. Masakre Worm. God, Masakre Worm just wins games. Like, I feel like I can't pass a Masakre Worm. Those will be my two top end guys. Until I get a Shieldred and a Primeval Titan, I'm sure. But, I mean, even if this guy just stays in the sideboard, it's still an like, extremely, extremely solid sideboard card. Blooming Marsh? Yeah, looks like a fixing land. <clears throat> Vivian Reed came back? Oh, that's nice. That's great. Wow, that's that's pretty sweet.
Savannah. Ophiomancer is great. Ophiomancer was what I wanted to take initially before we took the uh, Overground Tomb. So, Ophiomancer, I'm okay with it. Everybody wins. Nissa was what I wanted to take over him to Torok. So, we basically got all the cards we wanted back, which is pretty sick. Thank you. Sneaky Labeek, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. And Hextrigger comes back anyway. That's pretty sweet. I think it's probably better than Tassiger here. Maybe. You know what? I like the I like the allure of protection from everything better than a Tasker, which I'm not even a huge fan of Tasker. I think Tasker is good, but I don't know. For some reason, Tasker never resonated with me. Have my elder. Even that guy's fine. Oh, the Brontodon came back? That's great. <laughs> Alright, Tooth and Nail, interesting. Oko makes me want to play blue here. <laughs> this might be worth splashing. <clears throat> I mean, we're taking Gonti otherwise. Hmm. <sighs> we have no way to fix this right now. I mean, I guess we have... Oh, what up, Goblin Nick? Uh, we have Yavimaya Elder, but I'm not thrilled about playing Yavimaya Elder. Whereas Gontis goes great with Marin of Clan Neltoth, we can search for it with Vivian Reed. I'm gonna be honest, man. Gonti seems pretty good. And maybe this comes back. I'm gonna take the Gonti. I'm gonna use a little, a little restraint here, and I'm gonna take the Gonti. I think it's Tri Builder here. I like Bone Shredder too. Den Protector is kind of meh. Like, I never want to take a Den Protector over, like, a Eternal Witness. It's just... The, the difference in quality between Den Protector and Eternal Witness is so friggin' bad. We're playing Tribal Old? What are the old cards? Just Elder? Oh, Sakura Tribe Elder. Yavimaya Elder. <laughs> okay, that's funnier then. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Tribe Elder, I think. Um, I like... There's gonna be something from this pack that comes back, I guarantee it. Ooh, that's a, that's a spicy boy. This is not that spicy of a boy. I'm going to take this hero's downfall. Uh, I like it over Beast Within, I think. There's an Eternal Witness. Oh, Eternal Witness is great. This pack is also stacked. Umazawa's Jitte might be fantastic for our deck, though. Jeez. Yeah, all your elders get plus one, plus one. And health care. I want to take Jitte. I think I've like you. You just win so many games with Jitte that it's like, well, Whisperwood Elemental is actually pretty sweet. I'm a fan of the card. Liliana is great, but I think Whisperwood wins more games. Liliana is just obnoxious. I don't know. I'm gonna probably get some heat for that, but I don't like Liliana that much. Unless you have a deck that can actually take advantage of her and like not mind discarding specific cards, like uh, Acidic Slime seems real good. Yeah, Acidic Slime's great. It's exactly the kind of card you want in Cube because it deals with pretty much all the things you care about.
Holly Toss is great. Assassin's Trophy is great. Thank you. Tin Man, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I think it is Trophy. Trophy's just too versatile. Midnight Reaper, Night's Whisper, City Wayfinder. I like Night's Whisper. I like finding ways to draw cards in the uh, the black green deck. Yeah, I'll take I'll take Night's Whisper. Night's Whisper is just solid. Only one black, unlike uh, Sign and Blood. I'll take Sword of uh, Elves of Deep Shadow though. That's like the perfect mana dork. Pro black and pro red is interesting. I'm going to just take Elves of Deep Shadow. We already have a Jitte. I don't want to load up with too much equipment. Can we get a Bayou or a Verdant Catacomb here? That'd be great. <clears throat> Bone Shredder came back. Put you in the sideboard for now. Not being able to, to destroy artifacts or black creatures is an actual real downfall. I've been watching because I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I take it you're enjoying Outer Worlds because the video is key. Yeah, Outer Worlds has been great so far. I actually find myself really wanting to play it when I'm not playing it, It's which is a great quality of a game. There's a lot of times where I'm like, man, I wish I could just fire up Outer Worlds right now, but because I'm playing it live with Mike, I can't, like, play it in my downtime, you know what I mean? Scavenging his brain maggot and go for the throat? Jeez. And we have a lot of removal already. I think we can take Scavenging Ooze, which is pretty good against certain decks. Voice came back. Obliterator. That's interesting. Casualties of War is interesting. Nissa Who Shakes the World is interesting. Hmm. Um, a Blitz Hard quad, quad Black is not easy. Uh, I bet Casualties of War comes back. And then we can just take this really thick Nissa. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. Garrick Cursed Huntsman. I like this card a lot. And then maybe like the run or language comes back. Dark Steel Spork, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Now I'm feeling better about taking this Elves of Deep Shadow. We got a five and a six drop here. Yeah, if Obliterator comes down two turns late, that's still perfectly fine. I agree with that. Generally, I I, I agree with that sentiment. Like you can look at these things as like five and six drops. <laughs> Civilization. I do like Cavalier of Night. Cavalier of Night a lot. I don't know if we're a cradle deck. Are we? Like, we only have 12 creatures. Like, we only have three one drops and one two drops so far. I'd almost rather take Master of the Wild Hunt. Alright, you sold me. I mean, I love. Don't, don't get me wrong, I love cradle. Cradle. 
I keep seeing lands like I'm like, oh yes, oh, but then wait, we're not blue. We're just the other two colors of Sultai. Whip of Erebos is interesting. We're not gonna Ulamog, we're not gonna Drana. I don't care about Fawn. Oh, we'll just take Abrupt Decay. Never mind, that's it. I was like, oh, Abrupt Decay, okay. We could have been blue if you took Oko no Joko. That's Shut up true. And take my money. He's right. It's true. Gotta unbalance the equation. 260. 13. Tin Man, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. You are awesome. <laughs> and uh, a sizable troll. I want to put Massacre on the sideboard for now. We can always put in Malicious Affliction or Scavenging Ooze or Bone Shredder. We have actually a lot of good cards in our sideboard that are all basically main deckable. I kind of like Rankle here. Like, Rankle seems very good. Yeah, I'm gonna take Rankle here. Frankle is taking Rankle. I'm gonna take Jade Light Ranger. Ooh, that's a nice creature. Helps us hit some lands. What new cards do we have? We have Garrick, we have Rankle, we have... Nissa's kind of new. I think that's it. I think that's it. <gasps> Hissing Quagmire. Murderous Rider. Oh, I would play that over Never Return, I think. Oh, man. Quagmire, Murderous Rider, Plow Under, and Wood Elves. Jeez. Tugging at my heartstrings here. Well, I mean, one card is going to come back from here, and I wonder if it's going to be, like, Mother of Runes. It might be Wood Elves. I might just want the third Fixing Land. Eh. I mean, I'm, I'm reluctant to take Murderous Rider when we already have Heroes Downfall and never return. Like, do we do we not take a really good ramp pick because we have to uh, already have... So we can get a marginally better, you know, Heroes Downfall effect? I don't know. Wood Elves is nice because you can also go Wood Elves into Rankle and make them sacrifice a creature, and then you only sacrifice the Wood Elves, which is pretty okay. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. Mm, okay. Well, I'll... Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. <laughs> Casualties of War did come back, which is pretty sweet. I also like Prismatic Lens, but I think we have enough ramp. We have Secure Tribal Air, three, three of these Dirtles. I'll take Casualties. I'm going to take out the Hex Drinker for now. I don't think it's... I think it's good, but I don't think it's phenomenal. Look, Languish and Thrun came back. I'm going to take the Languish because I like having a Languish... Maybe it's Thrun. Thrun seems unbeatable in certain decks. I'll take the Thrun. Cavalier of Night and Sword of Fire and Ice come back. And the Gaia's Cradle comes back. Good lord. I always wonder when cards go that late when the other drafters started playing Magic. You're like, hey, did you read this piece of shit? I'm going to take Sword here. I think having a Sword if we happen to play against the red-blue deck is pretty good. It's a nice little hedge. All, all the cards we've looked at come back, so maybe that last pick will have. I'm hope, kind of hoping for Hissing Quagmire. <coughs> Especially because we didn't get a Bayou. We need three cuts. That's a yikes for me, dog. Messenger is... Come on, Quaggles. Quaggle walk, walk, quaggle walk, quaggle. Yes! <laughs> we did it, boys! Oh, man, beautiful. Oh, man. So good at magic. Living the damn dream. Okay, we have to make three cuts, and that's actually going to be rough. I don't want to cut any of these cards. Jeez. I think we can probably cut Night's Whisper. You can probably cut something from this three spot. 
Casualties is probably too cute. I agree with that. We can board casualties in. My, I, you know, I, th I was thinking of cutting Whisper Elements, but I do like its combination with Rankle, where like you make a guy, you get something to sacrifice pretty easily. But my, it might, I can see it being of the five drops. I think it is the weakest five drop. We could cut Never Return actually. I mean, because we do have Assassin's Trophy, Abrupt Decay, and Hero's Downfall. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I can see that. And it's a sorcery, so. Alright, let's try it like this. Let's see what this looks like. 7-7? Seven, seven? Deal. Oh yeah, this our sideboard looks amazing, too. We have Scavenging Ooze, Hex Drinker, Thrun, Whip of Erebos, Massacre Worm... Another Never Return, Bone Shredder, Thrashing Brontodon. Like, we just have a lot of useful cards. Is someone, cut, is someone suggesting Cut Decay? That person sounds like a maniac. Oh, bingo, bingo, bongo. Gonna have one land and not gonna keep this hand. Gonna hit one land again. This hand's bad. Mulling to five. Oh god, I love the cube and well, that's just fine. Did it did it. I guess ship a uh, ship one land and I guess a trophy. Crying out loud. Thank you. Oh, Spaghetti Toucher. I feel like Spaghetti Toucher, how do you how frequently do you renew your sub? I feel like this is the third time in like the past three weeks that you've you've had a new Somebody touch my spaghetti notification. I'll make sure that meme never dies. Alright, we need to land. Okay, well, just once a month on Wednesday, my dear. Well, it's, but it's Thursday right now. Or is every day Wednesday now? Oh, jeez. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, fucking Christ. I knew it was going to happen. I was like, just don't be a hissing quagmire. It was a hissing quagmire. I'm going to name Carnage. They did not name Carnage. I guess I should have kept the... Uh, I guess I should have kept the Assassin's Trophy over the Abrupt Decay. I feel like we're just not winning this game. Yeah. And graveyard and gray. Okay, so we hit no lands. All right, we're just gonna concede. I don't know if Jitte can save us. I don't see how it saves us. They're drawing two cards a turn. They have a Whisper Elemental, which makes a two-two every turn. I'm not gonna concede because we're at 19, but I am not uh, thrilled about our chances. I'll say that.
<laughs> yep, that's that's a thing, I guess. Burr, 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 burr. Well, Brontodon's coming out. Oh, jeez, Rick. Wow, that's funny. Um, huh. So we did draw the we did draw the recurring nightmare. I am reluct more reluctant to concede now, at least. Ugh. Oh, jeez, Morty. Sometimes you get a... You get a little recurring nightmare in your graveyard. And, uh, you just gotta bring those creatures back, Morty. They're going to treachery this dude and then untap five lands. Hmm. Well, that's enough. Okay. I actually do like casuals, casualties of war and and massacre room here. Comically enough, acidic slime can stay. We can take the rankle out, bring in casualties, bring in massacre room, take out. Four six drops, is that too many? <clears throat> the problem is I think all of our six drops are relevant. Oh uh, no, slime is fantastic. You want slime because we, we already I mean we saw we we literally just saw Mirari's Wake and um and uh the portal, course of portal. Like I <laughs> I think we want slime like that's the reason we brought Thresh and Granton on is because we want this kind of effect. I mean I'd rather take out Whisper Elemental. We're going to lead off with Swamp in case we draw um, him to Torok. <laughs> but I love streaming. Thank you so much for saying so. Oh yeah, Nick, we're probably already dead, my dude. Okay, well that's not bad. Okay, alright. I will say yes. Overgrown tomb, no. Pass the turn. Uh, 
They did not do anything with four mana. Alright, well, one, two, three. Let's get this guy. Mystic Snake. Cool. Hoisted by my own petard. Can you please not type as fast? Us slow typers are triggered over here. I make no promises. You give me no prom- Oh my god, Masquerum would be so insane right now. Can you imagine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they take 14. All of your promises. Uh, I'm going to put Vivian in the graveyard and I'll play this land and seems good. They're like, eh, I'm not paying for this. This garbage. All of your promises. Oh, you didn't want to come in here with that dude? Okay. Well, I guess I'll just block uh, block this guy, I guess. Okay. Take eight. Totally normal. Masquerum, 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 masquerum. That's not a masquerum, believe it or not. Hmm. Guess we're just getting in there. And if they block with this guy, we get to kill two squirrels or a, a noble hierarch and a squirrel, and then it just puts us in fine shape, so. You got it. Could also just gain four life. I'm actually going to kill this for sure. And then probably a squirrel. That's interesting. Go down to three cards. All right, <clears throat> this is nice. We can acidic slime kill the Sylvan Library. That's fascinating. Three, four, five. Acidic slime. Kill the library. Get back. Do we play land this turn? No. So let's get back Jade Light Ranger. And if we hit a land here. Uh. Uh. Keep on top. Put this there. Equip this. Uh. Uh. Heavy breathing. Oh, geez. Biscuits.
All of your promises. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is less nice. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted. <laughs> oh, Masakre Worm. Zeech, I still could not read your comments. They still do not show up for some reason. I have no idea why, dude. Can you send me a message on Facebook? Or a, a, like a friend request or something? Uh, that's interesting. Oh, so we just kill them right now, right? Get back. Acidic slime. It's a real stop hitting yourself situation. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, Massacre Worm, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it. That's how you do it with the Massacre Worms. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Old hee haw mouth strikes again. Look at that horse mouth. It's gorgeous. Yeah, that's why I usually just call him the hee-haw mouth. Because he's got a big-ass horse mouth. Like, he looks like a horse laughing. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's like... It's like when horses are like... Ew, ew. It's a donkey? I guess it'd be a donkey mouth, right? I guess that's a donkey noise. I think I just realized it's donkey, not horse. I feel dumb. What kind of nightmare horses do I hang out with, buddy? If you only knew. <coughs> the problem is, like, none of their cards ever get hit by Abrupt Decay right now. Like, we saw Course of Portal, Mirari's Wake, Whisper Wood Elemental, um, Squirrel, Squirrel Gentleman, Mystic Snake. The two cards I think that get hit are, like, Bizarre Trader and Noble Hierarch. And it's kind of like, eh. <laughs> did, I say, did I say the squirrel gentleman? <laughs> That's way funnier than it should have been, and I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> Jesus, it was such an automated response. I'm like, oh, did I say the squirrel gentleman? That's funny. Well, that's funny. I kind of want Bone Shorter just to kill, like, things. I don't know. I'm going to submit. I'm going to hope we're good enough. Okay, we're good enough. Oh, yeah, we're good enough. Turn to him to Torak and Ophiomancer with the Garrick on, on deck. No, oh, yeah. Our opponent has not mulliganed. And we've mulliganed three times so far. So, in, in you know, in, in three games. All of your promises. Nope. Him it up. Oh, that's just old hee-haw mouth. No, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, we can move this guy down here. I mean, I really want to Assassin's Trophy this library. I wish I had a Rex Sage. God, Rex Sage is so good. Fascinating.
Oh, <clears throat> Ophiomancer into Jitte seems good. That seems good. What is our life? Can you guys not see the life total? We're at 20, they're at 16. What's happening right now? Oh, what is our life is in like... Our, like... I get it. I get what you're saying. You weren't asking like in the game. <clears throat> Lafof, what's going on, buddy? Greetings from Florida. Two tropical climates. From one tropical climate to another, my friend. Wait, how did that... What? Oh, they put an Ulamog into the deck. Okay, that makes sense. So they shuffled their library, their graveyard back in. How do you like New Garrick? I think New Garrick is sweet. I think New Garrick is a real sweetie. He's a sweetie boy. Thank you. The Mike Arnold. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Um, so I'm tempted to like, we can either play Jitte and equip it. Attack this Jace Bellerin. They have two cards in hand. Put that Jitte in the snake's mouth and start sending. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it just seems real good. I like getting Master down and start having guys to... But, like, even if they... They're not, they're not blocking this, right? There's no way you block my snake mouth. Oh, if they block it, we just get another snake and we still get the counters and we still get, uh, we kill their bizarre trade mage. So, I mean, I feel like even, no matter which situation happens. <clears throat> what? Great googly moogly. So, like, when you block, when a 1-1 one -one is attacking Jace and you block with something, you're basically saying this card, whatever you block with, is worth more, is worth less than, than the random card you're going to draw off Jace. Because you're basically trading one loyalty counter for a bizarre trade mage which is interesting because now we get another snake yeah I don't know if that was a great block but you know I just work here I mean, even if they didn't know what's, even if they knew it's on top, like that. I mean, Jace would have survived at one. Like they can either just choose to make us both draw, or like they can draw one, or you know. I mean, they, they the, the 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 only trade that happened here was they get one extra activation off of Jace before either sacrificing it or giving us both a card. You know, so there you go. The one card they drew right now was worth this bizarre trade mage. That was what happened. From now on, you're trouble. Yeah, that's true. They might not even get an extra card here. Okay, we're getting a scry. They have two lands and two cards. I'm like, I'm getting up to a point where I really just want to Assassin's Trophy this because it's. I think they're actually not in. I mean, if we can draw a, a an acidic slime or something, that'd be great too. That is not it. I'm just attacking Jace with both because I don't feel like uh, them having like a bounce or a block or something, so... Let's just make sure Jace is done for. If they put a card on the bottom, did they put a card on top or bottom? Oh, they left a card on top? 
Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, now we're definitely trophying this thing. <clears throat> Them leaving it on top means I don't want you to have it now, so. Oh, and they just randomly drew. They didn't actually treasure them up during upkeep. That seems good, too. All right. Well, next time we can go Garrick. Uh, interesting. Everybody, yeah. I'm just gonna plus one here. You know, it's funny. One thing we can do is actually kill one of our own wolves, and then give Garrick get the emblem, which is what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's definitely lethal. All right. Okay. Excuse me. Gaunty. Let's kill this dude. How about that? They didn't even tap anything. Uh, Cidic Slum. Oh, okay, we just won the match. <laughs> Alright, well, that's a thing, I guess. Good games. We were going to take that Acidic Slime and be like, kill your thing. Liking new Garrick? Someone else just asked me that. Uh, my answer is Garrick has been fine so far. I've just played him now for the first time, so hard to say. I will say yes. I will keep this snap, keep this hand. See, now we're talking. <clears throat> he does kill stuff. He also makes wolves. This is the hand we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Back. Streets. Back. Alright. How am I liking the new Garrick so far? That's a good question. Um, so, my thoughts on the new Garrick. I think he's actually just fine. And, um... You know. That's, that's how we feel. We got an LOL in the chat over here. I don't know what that means. Could be anything. Could even be a boat. Oh! Maybe this is why. Touche. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm gonna get Woody. Thank you! Why you no guest on Think Twice? I don't know what that is. Uh, is that Ollie's podcast? And did you know Ollie was bought? Yeah, I did. I've known Ollie was for quite a long time, but it's not. I mean, it doesn't seem like a big deal, really. Like, people are attracted to who they're attracted to, and that's totally cool. If you had to be one of the Garrick Wolf tokens he creates, which one would you be and why? Um. I think it depends on when he makes them. Are you talking about this Garrick and the two wolf tokens he makes? Because that's funny, because they're like the same token. Uh, but if you just meant over the course of Garrick's, which wolf token you'd be? That's interesting. That's now you're talking. 
Let's get slimed out. Let's slime out. Let's slime out of here. Slime out of here with that, man. Garrick, how are you liking the new Frankencube so far? That's a good question. I can't answer it personally. But maybe Garrick can next turn. That's my hope. Frank has three kids in a trench coat. Frank is definitely the Black Death Wolf with Black Wolf with Death Touch. That's the one I was literally thinking of. I'm like, ooh, what about that one one Death Touch Wolf? That's a good one. Dude, these dogs outside are so loud. Classic dogs being loud. It's true. I literally just claimed the 1-1 one, one black... Well, I'm sorry. There's not enough black 1-1 one, one death touch wolves to go around, okay? Good lord. Don't have force spike. Don't have force spike. Don't have force spike. Don't have... Oh, they didn't have force spike. Give me them wolves. I feel like this... I'm really getting a sense of deja vu here where I cast this Garrick. They end up going like... Blocking, getting lands. Like I feel like some, I feel like this has happened before. I have a really feared, feel, weird feeling of deja vu. That is a tough. Dr <laughs> oh, should I even say they? I didn't even see they said that. That's a good one, too. That's a good one. How are you liking the Garrick so far? Um, I think he's good. I I've enjoyed him, personally. You know, this is only the second time I've played him. But I think he's good. So I went to go... On Monday, I was gonna make some... I was gonna make some paneer tikka masala. Um, and so I go to this local Indian store. It's like 10 minutes away. And it's called like Mahal Bazaar or something. And I go there to get paneer, and I get I get I get some nons there, so I can I can have them in my my food. And on Monday they were closed. There was a sign on the door. It said, "Closed. We'll be open tomorrow." And I was like, oh "God," because it was like Veterans Day. So I was like, "All right, that's fine. Makes sense." I should, you know, I guess that's fine. It's a small store. It's not like a chain or anything. It's just like a little mom and pop store. All right, so I'm like, "All right, cool." So I'm like, I guess I'm not having Indian tonight. I was going to make it Monday night. And I was like, I'll just make it Thursday. Because Mike's off Tuesday and Wednesday, so usually I'll just get some food with that dude. So Wednesday, Thursday rolls around. Today, I go again this morning after, before I stream. And I'm just like... The sign, the same sign was still on the door. And it said, close today. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be open tomorrow. It was the same exact sign. And so I'm literally just wondering if the store is just closed now. Oh, we're two for two in the, uh, I appreciate the con. I like the content you put out. Um, yeah, so like, it's one of those, like, and this is funny because the original store I went to, the original Indian grocery store I went to, they closed just like four months ago. So I was like, great, I have to find another local grocery, Indian grocery store to find this food at. And, um, <clears throat> that store has been closed for 30 years. What? But how? Yeah, and so, like, now I'm like, great. So I'm just like, I don't know if there's a third local Indian grocery store around here. And, um... I could abrupt decay a wolf and then Garrick once. I mean, that seems fine. Is that good? Then I have one, two, three, four, four creatures. Sure, an artifact creature with flying or an enchantment. It doesn't... You can't kill it. We can't kill the land. Oh, I guess we kill the land with the, with the Garrick. 
I'm game. I'm game for that. Well, biscuits. Everybody! <clears throat> Attack with everyone. Hold this elf back. Actually, maybe I just kill this. Maybe I just kill this with abrupt decay. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. They're gonna get their lands either way, but it prevents us. We get to keep a creature, and we get to guarantee a Nissa kill, which is really the most important part. Natural causes. Natural causes. It's okay. It was just it was just his time. Okay. Now we get to put out a viv. And we get to win the game. What would we have hit? One, two, three, four. Would have taken Marin of Clan Nell Toth. It seems like not a lot of creatures go to our graveyard in this. What do we see? Nissa? And that's pretty much it. I think that's enough to bring in this Never Return, though. Oh, what are we taking out? What are we, what are we taking out? Take out the Rankle again. Um, I think this is a keeper. Casualties is pretty good. Yeah, new Garrick has been good so far. So. Oh my god, back-to-back -back Sylvan Library matches. Come on, give me something to play. Give me to Torok. You win this round, Sylvan Library. You need a Garrick command. <laughs> hey, what do you think of the new Garrick? Which one, Garrick Wildspeaker? No, don't like that. No, don't like that. Can't have that guy going crazy. Even though I would have loved to play Slime slash Vivian Reed next turn to kill this Sylvan Library. Nothing really matters to me. Mama. And just killed a man. Interesting. Fascinating. Well, without another land, we're just going to play Wood Elves here. Life has just begun. I'm going to put this in the play tap to wish I could get rid of yourself in library. Sack 
sack that food. Scrubland. Crack that whip. Oh boy. Oh boy. I guess no blocks. Super doom 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 ba doom 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 God, do we just grave tighten here? Huh. Well. Jesus. Well, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, five cards, and a Sylvan Library, huh? Correct. That. I love Sylvan Library, buddy. I'm aware. I don't think it has to be Titan here. I don't think Titan does it. Everyone who's saying Legacy is dying, like that's just you're just just overstating. I think we're just losing to this card. This card's fucking bonkers. I don't think we can win now. Like, they have a Summon Library and a Nyssa. What up, Sammy? It is Wednesday, my dude. Joke's on you. Every day's Wednesday. Every day is also Chicken Sunday. Spaghetti Toucher, where are you at that it's Wednesday still? That doesn't even seem possible, my dude. Thank you! DJ Thunderdome. Hey, don't get to get on here as much these days, but I figured to show my thanks. Somehow, I appreciate all the hours of... T Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. In Maryland? I don't think it's Wednesday in Maryland, man. I think it's Thursday. Man, that language is looking real good right about now, huh? I mean, to be fair, they would have likely miscalculated the casualties of war, so. Oh boy, sometimes it just feels like you're way behind, my dude. They have six cards and a Sylvan Library. <sighs> bing, 
ding ding One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess if they untap one of these, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah. That's good. That's a good amount of mana. Thank you. GM Miller, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Grave Toodles. If you have another counter, then so be it. It's pretty bad. Oh, resolves. All right then. <laughs> Command a new Garrick. <laughs> Oh, good lord. I mean, it for sure, is it correct to just jam mono green when pack one pick ones are fellas? Yes, completely. Um, I mean, be flexible if, if it doesn't break that way, like if you have to draft other colors or whatever, but for sure it is totally fine to, to attempt to draft mono green when you open Rafellos. I'm going to go to the next game. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Glad we brought in the uh, never return here. Casualties definitely coming in. The yikes for me, dog. I might just want Bronto Don here as well. Does Hex Trigger seem good? I mean, it doesn't seem like they have a ton of ways to interact with it, which is kind of good. I'll take Marin out, bring in Hex Drinker. I'm just going to submit like this. We'll see what happens. We'll turn one Hex Drinker. Uh, this hand is real bad. I'm going to keep it anyway. We do have Recurring into Gonti. Like, our, if we can just get here, it's good. Turn to Sakura Tribelder. Or even a Ramp Spell. Even a Creature would be good. Right now, we do need a black. Seems like all they have is a Nukma of counters. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I clicked the land, and then I clicked pass through my turn, so thankfully I was able to reverse course there. Lefauf, I was confused because every word in that in that every almost every letter was wrong except for the U and the H. So I was really just I didn't know how you did that. I was I was kind of impressed, I think, more than anything. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I was having a struggle. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you pulled through, buddy. Jade Light Ranger. Green source, okay. Well, I'm just going to drop this Recurring Nightmare because, I mean, there's a risk to playing it, but I also, the three mana is not nothing, especially later in the game. Like, our next our, our next turn should be relatively planned out if we can hit a Black Source here that's not Blooming Marsh slash Hissing Quagmire. Because otherwise we don't, just don't do anything, which is pretty bad. And then I think we're just losing, which is unfortunate. I'm not a big fan of losing, but that's life. Just waiting for that elusive... Wow, Farseek? Jeez. Summon carry at it. Okay, well. Come on, Black Source. 
Daddy needs a black source. He's gonna get one. Oh, we did it, boys. Oh, man. Now everything was right with the world. Oh, shit. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of just want this Mystic Snake. Being able to have Mystic Snake up for the rest of the game. I mean, they already have one, two, three, four, five, six lands. I don't think Plow Under is actually that great against them at this moment. I'm just gonna take the Mystic Snake. I mean, it's like if they have eight lands and you and you plow under them. I don't, it's not like... They can also just, like, sack the canopy and draw one of the cards. Like, it's not a huge deal at this point. Plow under is great when you can ramp into it on turn three and then they have one land. Okay, they have three cards that we have to worry about. And we got a Mystic Snakeu. Okay, two cards. One card. Huh. Master Balos Arbor Elf. So we know you have this. You have this and one more card? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, I'm I'm afraid their one card is Ulmog. That's my concern, right? I think we still have to just run this out there. Artifact enchantment or creature with flying. Yeah, we're just gonna look at the top card. It's a creature of land. Man, I love I love Nissa. Vivian Reed, rather. <laughs> I don't know why I said Nissa. The other green, yeah, the other green lady. Green. Oh green lady. I mean, what do they attack back for two? That's yeah, fine. I mean, if they have Ulamog, we're dead, right? Like, we could counter it, but we're still in bad shape. But we can't just hold up mana until we get... Like, we have Mystic Snake. That's our answer to their Ulamog. And they have Ulamog. Okay. Well, the problem is, like, we can't just hold up mana if they don't have Ulamog, right? Like, they, we, we can't just hold up four mana every single turn and hope they don't have it. We could have given them one turn, I guess, but... I mean, I guess they get rid of Vivian Reed Recurring Nightmare. Uh, I don't think we can block for two twos for that long when we only have 29 cards in our library. We can block with two twos <laughs> for one... Okay, you figured it out. We can block for one turn, basically, so that's not... That's not great. Yep, that was the one thing we hoped they didn't have. Spoiler alert, they had it. I don't think we have a card in our deck that deals with it. And we have a fucking Mystic Snake over here. That's hilarious. they play the forest? Does it matter? Not really. Indestructible. If we don't play Vivian there, they get rid of Gaunti and they get rid of Recurring Nightmare. We get to counter it. We have a snake on board. 
we still have I mean I guess I feel like that's the biggest misplay that we made in there was just like not holding up the mystic snake but like we gave them one turn to have it like so I don't know there's no card in our deck that actually deals with it right like there's nothing that exiles it I definitely don't think Plow Under would have done anything. Like, this is also two mana, so they had one more mana than they needed. They did not play a land this turn, so they have one last turn when they cast this. They had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they were already one ahead. They would have it would have set them back one turn. So long, library. <laughs> oh, indestructible you're indestructible you must not know about me do I have anything in my deck that can actually deal with an indestructible creature literally no a lot of great removal nothing that can actually deal with indestructible Ulamog that's really fucking infuriating Yeah, so like the thing is if we if we're holding up Mystic Snake for Ulamog, right? We don't play anything that turn. They don't play Ulamog. We don't play anything next turn because we're like, what if they draw it? You know, like, I don't know. They had to have it in hand. Which they did. It was the last card they had. They had exactly 10 mana. And one Ulamog. And it was just perfect. In theory, Rankle can handle, yes. Perhaps not so much in practice, but in theory. You must not know about me. You must not... They, you know they never don't have it. That is unfortunately true. You can have another you in a minute. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Pretty good. Alright, each player sacrifices a creature, that's not good. Each player loses one, like draws a card, each player discards a card. Let's get this guy rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Attack. Jijian Blackums McBladeums. What up, Jijian? Oh, 
Uh, they can't see the cards you get off Gonti. Gonti is face down. No one ever knows what you get off of Gonti. So they did not know about the snake. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, when you play in real life or you play online, Gonti is not face up. Let's let's check it out right now. Whoop. Look at the top four cards of Tarnabon's library. Exile one of them face down. Then put the rest in the bottom of your of that library. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it. You may cast it. You may spend mana as though we're mana of any type. At no point do they ever know what you're what you're getting. God, what's happening right now? Thank you. May, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Catch you on YouTube. Thanks for the great content. Thanks so much. Thanks for the support. Really appreciate it. I appreciate you, my dude. Oh, well, that's nice. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. What else? Get a Cetic Slime take out the Mishra's factory. Is that better than just blocking a Gideon for a turn? They have two cards in their hand. Vivian doesn't improve our odds that much, but like it gives you something to do every turn. Like they had no pressure on us. So if we have a Vivian on board, in future turns, it's a lot better to keep the snake up in future turns because you're sitting there holding the counter spell, but you're also able to put pressure on the board. You're adding lands. You can get lands off Vivian so you have a consistent stream of cards and do things. But right now we're just hoping we draw into like two or three extra lands so we can hold up the counter spell and play something else. So the, the thing is, like, Vivian lets us get through our deck so that on future turns, we can hold Mystic Snake up while still feeling like we're doing things. So it's it's a it's a matter of, like, well, we can't sit here and do nothing, so let's do something. Not a fact. He'll be here in a minute, baby. You must not know about me. I forgot this guy gets indestructible and it can't be the that prevents all damage. It's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I have one card in hand? Actually, maybe I don't feel bad about not killing Gideon now because we can just play Titan and block it all day. You should run for office on the platform. Do something. It's a good idea. It's a solid strategy. So they have two cards again? What happens here? I don't know. Dismember would be bad. Ooh. 
literally nothing happened there. Interesting. Got another you in a minute. Matter of fact, you'll be here in a minute, baby. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. You condemn this guy? I mean, I assume you're going to condemn him. <coughs> yeah, the fact that this guy's a giant. Not bad in future turns, I guess. It's already done now. Damage is done. Under there for five, six, seven, we have eight mana. We're gonna slime this for sure. Blessed Alliance. I will sacrifice this zombie. Oh, they didn't block? Oh, we're not in blocks yet. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, all right, we just win the game. That seems good. They're at 26. They could have just played... They could have just... I mean, if they hit a land, they just play 7-7, seven, seven, right? I don't know. That seemed weird. Gideon... I can't remember just bringing this in. I just want to have answers for Planeswalkers, man. I'm not asking for a lot. Mono white. Mono wite. Oh, snap keep. Snapples make keeples. This is it. I want it all. One Nissa into another Nissa. A burgeoning young Nissa into a powerhouse Nissa. Maybe that's better, actually. I don't know what's better. This is probably better. This is probably better. Um, I'm gonna, hmm, uh, ooh. Yep, I'm gonna keep this. The upside is just, is just too high. Let me go Marin, and then we can go Nissa. <laughs> Kithian. We're gonna, gonna hold you back because I don't really want to like attack with this. You equip, then attack, and then we have to block with Meden of Clan Nail Toth, which is a pretty fucking metal name, but. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that last round was uh, that guy. That guy was a quitter. I'm sorry. 
You were just a quitter. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you have not done so, definitely go to patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. I know there's thousands of you out there. If you want to donate one or two dollars a month, one month per month, you can help support the channel, YouTube, Twitch, coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.